2023 is proving to be an electrifying year for trucks. Ford and Rivian have recently started producing electric offerings. Tesla is poised to begin delivering their Cybertruck. And now Chevy is entering the mix with an all-new Silverado EV. But don't let that name fool you. This is a radical departure from what Chevy has ever offered. Will this new Silverado deliver on performance, functionality, and comfort? It's a big ask. The new Silverado rides on GM's Ultium platform, allowing for more configurability than any gas-powered truck. Unlike its crosstown rival, the F-150 Lightning, Chevy can make better use of its EV technology and capability. So, what can this platform produce? The new Silverado can get the job done at 664 horsepower and 780 foot-pounds of torque. This is possible thanks to the two permanent magnet type motors connected to a single speed reduction gearbox. This combination will propel the Silverado from zero to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. Here is a fun side note. The 24 module 200 kilowatt hour battery pack actually weighs more than a Honda Civic. Say what? Yeah, that's right. The 24-module battery pack weighs more than a Honda Civic. The battery pack gives the Silverado an EPA-estimated range of 400 miles. Still, as we have seen, it will depend on temperature and driving styles. This is further hurt by the fact that Chevrolet is not providing a way to unclutch one of the motors during lower demand to reduce power consumption. But with all this power and massive batteries, what else can the Silverado power? I have the power! I have the power! <gasps> the Silverado EV comes equipped with 10 AC plugs, four 120-volt outlets in the bed, plus one in the center console and frunk. Yeah, we said frunk. It's a trunk under the hood. There is also a 240-volt outlet in the bed, and an accessory power bar plugs into the combined charging system charge port, providing two additional 120-volt outlets and one 240-volt socket. The power bar allows for EV-to-EV -EV charging, almost close to a level 2 home charger. So, next time your buddy who drives a Tesla runs out of juice after you finish laughing at them, there is a way to get it going again. Oh shit, that might be a vehicle shutting down. Fuck. Okay, we are totally dead. The system can produce 10.2 kilowatts of electric power. The owner can set a minimum charge state to ensure there is enough juice to safely return to a charging station. Perhaps not by mistake, this eclipses the 9.6 kilowatt power export limit of Ford's F-150 Lightning. Having this ability means that when rolling blackouts or natural disasters happen, you can power your house with a Silverado EV just like the F-150 Lightning. Also, like the Lightning, the Silverado EV will be able to serve as a generator for worksite tools with the ability to control the amount of energy consumed on site. Or, if you're interested in a bit of fun, the Silverado EV can also power your party equipment for those off-road parties. But can the Silverado EV handle your camping trailer? Wow, that's, that's a great question. The 2024 Chevy Silverado EV RST models are rated to tow up to 10,000 pounds and 1,300 pounds of payload. The F-150 Lightning, for comparison, is rated for 10,000 and 2,000 pounds. The RST model will also get four-wheel steering to ease trailer maneuverability. The first Silverado EV RST off the line will come equipped with a Super Cruise system, which supports trailer towing. Soon, Chevy will also introduce a special towing-focused fleet model Silverado EV with a towing capacity of up to 20,000 pounds. Why the special towing-focused model? I'm a little disappointed. that I thought 100 miles would be easy with this trailer. This is a real trailer that someone with a full-size truck would look into buying. The range is an issue. Towing will be EV's Achilles heel. There is only so much power available. And the way motors are designed, they use a lot of power as weight and wind resistance increase. For now, we believe all EV trucks are intended for owners who do not tow. But speaking of wind resistance or aerodynamics, the Silverado has a few tricks up its sleeve. Yeah. Like what? 
Due to the Ultium platform, the Silverado is a unibody design, similar to the old Avalanches. This allowed the designers to get creative and treat the exterior as a single canvas. They focused on designing a truck that would move through the air with the least effort possible and as much style as possible. Extensive wind tunnel testing led to the front grille design, all the glasses flush mounted, rear sail panels to direct the air past the cab, tonneau cover to further guide the air past the bed, and rear diffuser to drive the air past the vehicle. This gives the 2024 Chevy Silverado EV the lowest drag coefficient of any production full-size pickup truck. They managed all that and didn't give up on style. The RST comes standard with 24-inch wheels that are remarkably smooth and feature five narrow slots to route air to cool the brakes. Chevy claims that the standard fixed running boards on RST trucks help manage airflow between the tires. Every component on the exterior has been thoroughly tested to ensure maximum performance. But that is only some of the unique features of this awesome truck. Can you believe a 10-foot couch can fit in a 5-foot bed? I don't believe you. You don't believe us? Well, we couldn't believe it was possible either, but Chevy has once again proved they are the king of Tetris. All Silverado EVs will come one way, crew cab, short bed. That said, the designers got to work creating one of the most versatile trucks on the market. The 5-foot 11-inch bed bests the F-150 Lightning by 4 inches. Then, the game of Tetris starts. The midgate, the panel behind the rear passengers, can fold down for longer items. In fact, the cargo area expands to 9 feet of flat space up to the closed tailgate. If that is not enough, then tailgate open, and thanks to the optional multiflex bed stop, the cargo capacity increases to a whopping 10 feet, 10 inches. What did you just say? You heard right. Almost 11 feet of cargo capacity is what Chevy managed to create, proving they are the kings of Tetris. But does all that come at a cost of the interior comfort? All that counts is what's inside. <laughs> Chevy is finally getting its act together with its new generation of interiors. The new Silverado EV features a tech-savvy interior, unique from anything else in the Chevy lineup. The top RST model features an 11-inch reconfigurable instrument cluster with five display themes. It also features a 14-inch heads-up display and a 17-inch freeform landscape-oriented infotainment screen. The visibility has been dramatically improved thanks to the lower body lines and shorter hood. All interior materials are vegan, with RST production models touting handsome, contrasting charcoal and light gray PVC pleather seating surfaces, accented by red piping and blue stitching. A fully flat floor leaves room for a deep, two-level front center console with one cubic foot of storage space. By placing the speakers on the doors, Chevy has carved out enormous door pockets for extra storage in the back. The seat cushions fold forward to allow the seat backs and midgate to fold down flat, and there are shallow stowage bins under the seats. All RST first edition models will get a laminated fixed glass roof, which is promised to weigh about the same as a steel roof and headliner, but allows for better headroom. There is no sunshade, but Chevy says deep tinting helps the interior from turning into a cast iron skillet. Like a Tesla, there will be no ignition switch or start button. Sit down with a registered key, and the Silverado EV prepares itself for a voyage. Speaking of Tesla, Chevy is taking a page out of Tesla's playbook. The Silverado EV will be the first application of Chevy's Ultify. This platform separates the vehicle's software from its hardware, allowing for a more straightforward and rapid software and feature upgrades. More broadly described as a consumer experience platform, Ultify gives owners a digital ID number and vehicle profile to quickly access various cloud services for a seamless electronic experience. Yeah, it's, it just sounds really expensive. Orders started being accepted on January 5th, 2023 for consumers to reserve the first edition RST models priced at $105,000 plus an unknown destination charge estimated to be around $1,700.
Delivery of these trucks should begin around fall 2023. Only once those reservations have been filled will the system start taking orders for other variants, the least expensive of which should start around $42,000, just about matching the starting price of a new Ford F-150 Lightning. That's an enormous range if you think about it. You can add more options than the truck itself actually costs. Keep holding your breath for those who need the commercial version. Orders will start in the second quarter of 2023, and only the largest commercial users are expected to get one initially.